Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a video that I, I announced on my Instagram at TS Cosplay if you want to go check me out. Anyway, just saying that I was going to do like an FAQ style video because ever since we dropped, uh, well, me and Brady dropped our rundown video, the reveal short, and I did my unboxing, I got a lot of questions that I guess I didn't answer um, when I first unboxed it, so I'm just going to go through the most frequently asked ones. But before we get into the video, if you want to hit that like button and subscribe, it'll help me out a whole bunch and I will be bringing more, obviously, cosplay and Titanfall content. With that out of the way, let's just get right into the question. The number one question I've got um, this entire time of owning this helmet is, is can you airsoft in it? I would not recommend airsofting in this. One, because just feeling the plastic, uh, it doesn't feel like it's super durable. Um, when it comes to airsoft, just durability in general, it's fine, it's good, it's amazing. Um, but with airsoft, because I have airsoft before, obviously, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Second one is how do I turn on my lights? Well, these the side ones I think are already on, but there's just little, um, little switches under the chins, uh, under the chin, or under the, under the chin, under the cheeks. And then I have for the, the main visor, I have this uh, little remote and it actually, oh, it's on this side. <laughs> so you just start it up there and then I'd have to just press this little button and it, it should, you know, there it goes. I'll just keep this on for the rest of the video. Let's see, what customizations did I make to it after I bought it? As of right now, I haven't done anything to it. I am planning on installing a voice amp, not a modulator, um, because you can hardly be heard. And this kind of goes into the next question, is does the visor fog up? Yes, mine does. I don't think Brady's does. Mine has a lot more padding just because I have a lot more, I have more electrical stuff going on inside. Um, I'll probably, throw up pictures of the inside of the helmet. Um, if I don't, don't be mad at me. I've kind of gotten lazy with editing recently. But anyway, uh, there's a lot of padding on the inside. My batteries are actually right here on the mouth of it. And I would rather those be moved somewhere else because the padding on the mouth pushes right up to my face. So it's kind of like this when I'm talking. So you can't really hear me. And it does fog up. And I will say it's probably just because the padding in there. Uh, this question is on, I believe, the reveal, or no, I think it's on the rundown, um, but I had two people actually hit me up, one on Instagram and one, this question on YouTube, um, and it says, I hope you guys get the Master Lehman Store Titanfall Airsoft Mask so you guys can cosplay as you airsoft safely. So, and then someone did say, have I heard of um, Master Lehman Store? I've heard of Master Lehman Store, I don't have any plans on buying a helmet simply for the fact that we're not airsofting right now um, but if the shop does want to send us a, re a, um, a couple helmets to review I'm more than happy with that hit me up I'll, I'll review your stuff um, but no I don't have one of those helmets but yes I've heard of that shop another one is do any of you know where to get a replacement visor a replacement helmet visor, all I have on mine is a crappy one uh, with 75% LED strips and has 50 little one centimeter hexagons all over them so I really, so it's really hard to see through. So we have, I at least there's two layers of hexagons in this. I don't know where to get a new helmet, a new visor. I, I don't know if the guy who I bought this from Makes One Makes Replacement Visors. If you're talking about a different helmet, I can't help you out. Um, but so I guess no, I don't know where to get a replacement visor. So the next question is where did I get the helmet? Well, in my unboxing, I pop tagged the name, but I noticed that I didn't put the link in the description. Um, I cannot pronounce the name of the shop for the life of me. And I don't want to do the shop owner a disservice by botching the name. But the I have I have the uh, the business card here, but I will again pop up the name of the shop and it'll be in the description on Etsy below. Okay, and last question is what options 
come with the helmet. So I really don't know the limitation because the shop owner can do a lot of different stuff. I've seen a bunch of different color schemes. I've seen, you know, people who have camo. There's people who have all blacked out. There's people who have all white. There's people who don't have all these stripes on them. There's heavy weathering, light weathering, different light colors. Like I said, I my visor has the works, as you can see. Um, it's just kind of based off of your imagination, but that does mean the price will go up depending on what you want. Um, like with mine, obviously I have mine OD green back here, uh, just for the simple fact that it goes with my costume better. Uh, if possible and within my budget, I would get like two other helmets to have two different looks. But eh, it's not that big of a deal. But you know, it's, it's just depending on your imagination. Ask him, he, he answers any questions. His um, communication is amazing. He lets you know a, a roadmap for whatever week it is. So say the first week he says, hey, I'm gonna be molding. I'll send you pictures this following Friday. Friday you'll get your pictures um, and then, you know, so on and so forth with, with sanding and painting and all that good stuff. So yeah, again, Seller's name, or set link to the seller shop will be in the description below. But I think that'll do it for this video. I think I answered all the main questions. If you have any other ones, feel free to hit me up on Instagram at TSCosplay or post in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.